Hey guys, I recently noticed that this six-year-old camera has been fogging up. There's some condensation forming right around the lens and the IR lights. And it's especially noticeable in mornings and evenings when there are large outdoor temperature fluctuations. Let's get that fixed. All right, guys, I just removed the camera and brought it inside. I think this is the first time it's been indoors in over six years. It has worked flawlessly over the years and it's been on and recording ever since I recorded this video back in 2019. Now condensation issues happen to pretty much any security camera, especially when they're subjected to many years outdoors in the elements. This video can apply to multiple brands of security cameras and not just Reolink. Now since the camera is no longer under warranty, we are on our own to resolve this problem. Here is what we need. We need a dust-free environment. So I cleaned off my desk the best that I could, and we have some cleaning wipes to get the big dirt. We have a dust blower, some tools to open the camera, and some Windex to clean the glass inside the housing. We also have this lint-free cloth to get things dried off. Oh yeah, we also have a couple of silica packages. These are found on Amazon and are awesome at absorbing moisture. We're going to drop a few new ones in once we get the camera opened up. So starting off, we're going to get the camera cleaned up here as much as possible since it was outdoors for so long. Now, I noticed that the main camera seal here looks to be in pretty good shape, but there are also some other seals. The card slot seal on the back and also where the wires enter the camera. We need to check all of those out. One of these camera seals may have let in some humidity. This camera has seen temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius in the winter, which is well below the manufacturer's specified operating temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 Fahrenheit. That extreme cold may have allowed the rubber to contract, allowing the moisture to enter. It's also pretty exposed here where I had it installed. It gets soaked regularly when we have big rainstorms like this one here the other night. Let's start opening things up here and get that car door removed. The rubber seal here feels just fine, nice and soft. Oh cool, and there's a card in here. We'll get everything here cleaned up. And moving on to the housing, there is a lot of dirt inside of these holes. Just check out how much dirt I'm digging out of here. Okay, the screws are loosened up. Let's get that cover popped off. The seal here is quite wide. I like it. It also looks like it's in great shape. A couple of small inconsistencies with the rubber. No issue here. No issue with the rubber. It looks fine. And next we're going to remove the mount and expose where the wires enter the camera. It's dirty, but the compression seal seems like it's doing a good job. If you give the wires a little tug, the seal pops out and we can get everything cleaned up. And when we look inside the camera, there is no evidence whatsoever of any water leaking in. So whatever we have here is pretty minute. And before we move on to cleaning out the shell, let's take a close look at the lens here to make sure that it's dust free. We don't want to have any dirt or smudges or anything on this. And I want to avoid touching it or cleaning it at all costs. Yeah, there's nothing on this. I'm happy to move on. Now looking at the glass in the housing, I'm going to use a bit of Windex for autos and give it a good cleaning. And now that we got things cleaned up, I'm going to use the blower to make sure it's all dry and that there's no outstanding lint. And this looks pretty darn clean to me. Now, as far as the camera's interior, we are going to get rid of the original silica gel bag and replace it with three new ones. It's a, it's a good idea to stop here and make sure that everything is dry before reassembling the camera. And, and the last step is to put the car door back in place and we are done. All right, guys, we got the camera installed and there are several brand new silica packs ready to absorb any new moisture found. We had no visible issues with the seals inside, which is great news. Lots of life left in this camera. Now, links for everything seen here today can be found in the description below and this model has been discontinued. It's now been replaced with the RLC811A, which is a 4K camera with five times optical zoom. I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more home tech DIY projects that you can do yourself. Thanks for watching.